Hey, what's up guys? I know it's been a long time, but I'm back and hopefully I'll get back into making videos a lot more regularly. Um, but anywho, i got something to show you today that I'm sure a lot of you already know about or have done yourself, but um, I know that there are a lot of you out here who are wondering and who have asked questions about this on various airsoft forums and whatnot. So uh, here I am answering the question. Um, me included, uh, in a lot of people, but a lot of people have asked about whether or not you can attach a Polar Star to a shop compressor. Um, the answer is not usually because the connectors are not the same size, uh, but a shop a regular shop compressor, like uh, what I use for my um, pneumatic nail guns, puts out you know, 100, 120 PSI, 80 PSI, anywhere in between there. Um, I think actually this one, the maximum is 100. Uh, but that's perfect. That's what I run my Polar Star on anyway, so it works out. But anyway, the problem was finding connectors that would fit. And uh, I actually have a two-piece connector here that I made uh, off of parts that I bought from eBay. Um, so this is a regular quarter-inch male um, fitting for a standard, a standard quarter-inch quick disconnect. Uh, and these are quarter-inch NPT threads, and that's national pipe thread. Um, and then the piece behind it, I have a couple of them on the table here. The piece behind it is a quarter inch macro line fitting um, that normally you, when you get these they have eighth inch NPT threads on them uh, because most paintball fittings and polar star fittings use that thread but this one has a uh, has the quarter inch NPT threads on it. Uh, so it fits into the back of this piece. It's got some um, Teflon tape on it and it's nice and airtight. So I'm going to take the camera off the mount and show you guys up close and then I'll do a little bit of shooting with it show you how it works. So here's a look at the pieces up close and you can see how they come on and off of the macro line on your Polar Star. It's the same as your uh, as the fitting you have on there now. It just pushes on and locks into place. Uh, it's just bigger and heavier um, but same connection there. So this is my air compressor hose and it's kind of big and bulky. So this is one thing that I do want to note about these things is that uh, it may be better if you get one of the plastic coiled hoses for an air compressor rather than one of these heavy duty rubber ones because this is really heavy. It's rated for 300 PSI, um, but you know the reason I have this one is because that's what came with the compressor. But um, there are smaller ones that are rated for around 200 PSI and they're plastic. Um, and they're a lot more lightweight and they don't pull on this as much because of what I've noticed is that if I'm moving around a lot with this thing connected, it's so heavy and it jars it around so much that it, it bends it like this and uh, it breaks the seal with the macro line. Um, so air will start hissing out when it gets pushed to the side like that because this is so heavy. So a lighter line would be better. But other than that, the seal grate, um, and I'll actually show you, I'll plug this into it right now. And there we go, it's plugged in. Um, so the compressor is set at 100 PSI. Uh, there's a regulator on the compressor. You can turn it up and down. Um, so you know that takes the uh, takes the place of the regulator that you would have on your tank. So it's as simple as that. Just a couple new fittings, and you can hook up your compressor uh, at home to your Polar Star gun, and you have an endless source of air for all the plinking and zeroing in you want to do with your Polar Star. This is really important for me because I don't have anywhere to fill up a tank that's closer than a 40 minute drive. Uh, and it you know, costs money each time, there are no paintball fields around here, and the airsoft field that I go to does not fill tanks. Uh, because Polar Stars just aren't that common enough, it's not really something that uh, a lot of airsoft fields are doing. Um, but this allows me to have as much air as I want. The compressor kicks in and builds up more pressure every time I run it down below a certain amount, and I just have an endless amount of air to do whatever I want. I can spend all the time in the world zeroing in this gun and just plinking in my backyard or plinking in the basement here um, and trying to get do accuracy tests and things like that. Um, so, happy shooting.